hello there YouTube welcome to uh, Wednesday the 13th of November the uh, I don't think the windstorm was completely done at four o'clock this morning it's been banging and crashing getting the occasional pulse in the lights and everybody's going oh no oh no that's usually followed by a boom and then a power outage and if it's really big us being out here in the boonies we're usually the last people the power company comes to fix out our area anyway but um that's a comfortable um 50 degrees out here not warmer than it's been it's nice and windy nice and yeah, good gusts oh good lord look how it look i mean that just absolutely cleared the leaves out of the trees look at that one has nothing left not a single leaf it's got a couple stuck in the branches but they're not attached to the tree that's that's how fall goes the wind comes takes it out anyway hopefully have a safe drive home and i hope the power stays on for for the rest of the family today <laughs> all right we're off 51 degrees and uh rain. only a couple of moments that it wasn't raining I know. otherwise it was dumping the whole time we must have some heating and air conditioning thing going on there's like yeah, three, of them. three trucks here they come in in mass something broke either something broke sometimes you go through and do all i know they come downstairs and, oh, and do all the maintenance filters stuff. and stuff yeah. downstairs could be that get ready for winter yeah winter or something filters. sprung a leak in one of the units or who knows but mama yes uh -huh. we have made it to the hump version yeah. of the week there we go <laughs> <laughs> our little countdown I weekend know. Oh, man. it's funny that's the you get older and work is just the wait for the weekend. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> get through, get everything done, cause no problems, mm -hmm. cause no ripples in the water, and yeah. wait for the weekend. <laughs> well, Mama? Yes, sir. Let's go on, bust her out. All right. All right. Have yourself a wonderful Wednesday. You too. All right. Love you. See you. Bye. I love you. Bye-bye now. Bye. You know what's crazy? Cause I think that thing was making a noise all the time. Cause I fired the thing up, the heat cycle. It, it looks like it's uh, it might hold off for a bit. Maybe I'll take it for a quick ride. And um, anyway, trying to get the heat in. But anyway, from, from the very start up, it's quieter right from the start. I think even you know before you're riding it, it was making noise. Something I just thought was normal. But when, you know, you get, there's a certain mode you get it into, and it will definitely, definitely make a, like a chirping noise. And now, you know, now that we know what it was and everything, I had an old 79 CBX that had a starter or an alternator clutch in it, but it was just two metal plates that rode against each other. And it was, you know, one of the plates was spring-loaded. And oddly enough, it ran just like that. It was powered off of the, the, uh, the clutch gear and um <laughs> we had a shaft and had a spring load one of them was floating on a spline shaft and the two plates rode together where over time those things would slip enough that would gall and then they would just wouldn't get enough traction they would slip all the time it seemed like but anyway doing the trailer here and uh <laughs> the tires on this thing are 11 years old it's a 2012 trailer and um it's must obviously the original tires there's a little little weird wear uh, and probably just the way the trailer tracks down the road but um i don't know if the same rules apply to trailer tires but i drive down the freeway a lot every single day one of the things we see a ton of especially in the spring and then in the late year when everybody's trying to you know Get that last camping trip whatever trailers whether it's you know camping trailers boat trailers whatever constantly constantly with blown tires and um i the tires are cheap enough I, i'm gonna suggest going ahead and changing the tires but i don't know how many miles she's put on this thing and how many miles the previous owner put on this thing but um uh, <laughs> 
still very well packed with grease. It's that LGI, what is it? Uh, NLGI um, 2. It's class 2, I think they call it. It's special grease. It's thin when it's cool, thickens up when it's hot. Really good stuff. So um, I found that, oddly enough, this Kawasaki stuff did uh, um, really nice. I mean, uh, it's not expensive at all. So we're going to repack it. I We don't have need to get through the grease here well i have to anyway and get to the cotter cotter pin and make sure that uh um see what shape that thing is. you should replace it anyway but we don't have the stock one but we have cotter pins i have cotter pins and um, just make sure there's nothing special about it I and mean, cotter pins are cotter pins just keeping the nut from coming off but you don't want to put something cheap in there either but I need to make sure the size that I have an exact fit for it or I'll have to order that too. Oh, and these tires are discontinued. So there's this place that bought all the old stock and stuff from, from BRP that, uh, and in fact, they work with BRP. If it's not available, they'll actually show when you do a parts inquiry through BRP, it'll say that it's some like vintage parts or some name like that, that they have it. So if they still have these tires, are those, you know, almost 24 years old as well? You know, we're not going to take the chance of getting some really old tires, old stock stuff. If it's old enough that BRP's gotten rid of it, and I don't know how many years it's been since the RT622 trailers were discontinued. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to be old tires. So... Um, found literally the tread pattern looks exactly the same as this. It's a 4.8 by 12 um, trailer tire. And um, so and they're a little bit cheaper than they were from BRP. Probably even cheaper yet because I think when we get them from those people, there's shipping involved and, you know, it's, it's a whole other deal. So anyway, while it looks like it's starting to tack up out there, it hasn't rained in a bit. And the, the wind's helping dry stuff out. And um, she rides in all weather. But still, I don't like riding people's bikes in the rain unless I have to. You know, they're traveling and I need to test ride it. But we'll uh, take her um, sea to sky for a quick rip and um, see if we can get it in the mode. Um, uh, it should be hot enough. The fan should come on pretty quick, but I'll get the thing going here. I want to get it to operating temperature and see if at any point I can make this thing make a noise. It was doing it most when it was like 90, 95 degrees out. And uh, yeah, that's 54 is not going to cut the 95 thing there. <laughs> so I was uploading. I got those little SSD drives. I'll throw everything on there, the GoPro, phone, every, whatever I'm recording on. I stack them all up and kind of pre-build my, I'd just arrange the files. Anyway, the clip of me driving out with the sea to sky and making it to the that traffic light <laughs> by the Toyota store, um, somehow or another I didn't hit record. I hit record as I was sitting at the light. I got behind a camper, and I thought, well, I'm just going to shut off because I'm going to be sitting here for a while, and I was. And, um, well, I got that recording while I'm just, you just hear me kind of humming to myself and breathing in the camera because I had actually turned it on when I thought I was turning it off. But anyway camera snafu so we're gonna take off after i leave the light going across fourth plane past the toyota store so here we go hold tight it's beautiful out there well that light took a lot longer than i thought whoa you, you, you were in your lane you didn't have to swing wide like that and and uh trying to hurt yourself in a mud hole over there. Look at all that. Isn't that beautiful? Hmm. Makes you smile from the inside. Look at down that, that path out there. That's pretty stuff. Heck yeah. The, all the colors are all but gone in Toledo oh and you know those uh, the trees I point out 
um, that I drove you to. Kelly points them out. I drove you to them. The, the beautiful red and, and yellow tree. They must have had a windstorm down here because almost everything's gone out of those trees. I think, I don't think I can get to that spot from here. I'm trying not to purposely dive right through water holes like the guy did in the Honda back there. I think it was Honda. And this person's putting up fence posts. He's homesteading out here. Because I think where those trees are are pretty much straight across from where we're at now. And a... Uh, oh, look at that driveway. Oh, that's so cool looking. Oh. Yeah, I, I'm in the wrong. It's on this side of 60. Maybe I can see them. But I think I got to go too far down to get to where they are. Yeah, I won't see them. We'll swing that way and just take a take a look. Oh, and then the rain comes. Yeah, buddy. I'm on car. You're going to get me caught waiting for other traffic now. Yep. The rains have come. Oh, it's coming down pretty good, too. I know there's some dead-end roads, but I don't, I don't think I'll have access to where they're at. Oh, yep. They're right there. I can't get you to them. Well, in lieu of that, I'm just going to continue the ride and not make any any detours here. Because I don't have anything that's even remotely water resistant that I'm wearing. I'll make sure the lens isn't getting all soaked as well. <laughs> the saddest thing about the color is that have gone away here is all the beautifulness of this I mean it's still got some beauty to it don't get me wrong but just that make you almost gasp it's so nice <laughs> that part is gone still beautiful oh there's some nice red trees up against those apartments back there that was nice <laughs> last second I seen that gal sitting there I just seen a body sitting there I thought that goat I just rode, rode right past old Rick out there that was a, a gal that I f see out there frequently I wave I don't get a wave back or anything so I don't interact with her oh yeah oh the wind that's, that's way cool Yes, yeah, sir. The rain is a coming down now. <laughs> nice thing about a Spider RT, if you can, you can keep moving, it uh, it takes quite a bit for you to get wet. Listen to wind coming around that windshield. That's pretty impressive. Puts off a big old roar. But I sent the parts list and stuff up there to Kelly, and, and um, which was just the tires and and the grease that we need for the for the wheel bearings. It's pretty straight. It's kind of like car type stuff. BRP's got their specific specs. You know you. You torque it, back it off, and go back, just, you know, seat everything, then you back off like a half a turn, go back and then go forward to the nearest cotter pin slot, and there you be. It's 
seems weird not to have the windshield switch on the on the handlebar. The, all the BMWs that way, the older spiders are that way. They're just always the window switch was was there. Then on the F3, they made that window switch become the park brake. Another one of those uh, park brake confusing sagas. <laughs> You have just the one bike, then that's your bike you ride all the time. It's no big deal. You, you know how your bike is and you adjust to it. Yeah, it's bike coming down. Especially when you get moving. The wind's pushing it along as well. It ain't wet enough that we can't zip down and do the old alley trick here. Every once in a while, you'll have somebody coming backwards through here. It is not directional. There's nothing that says it's directional. I used to come up this thing backwards, but, you know, all the cars all facing the same way, and people kind of looking funny at you, at, funny at you when you come by going backwards, I thought, you know. It's just kind of accepted that this is going one way, and I get it. I was cool with that. We gotta wait for this van. He's taking up our beautiful alley run. I'll sit here like I'm pretending, pretending like I'm doing something important. <laughs> Look at the leaves on this alley. Oh, there's my boy. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at that. Can't see through that windshield. That is gorgeous. Holy moly. All right, there's Purdy. Oh, that'd be, there's some nice spots for thumbnails and stuff out there, but I'm stacked in with cars. That just, they ain't gonna work. Maybe I can play around with that wide angle lens on the camera. It shoots at 48 pixel raws. We'll take advantage of that. See what kind of thumbnail we can get out here and try to avoid all the cars out here. Park break. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a shot. So it's going to be somewhere in here looking. That just looks gorgeous. Nestled in all the leaves. <laughs> Man, that Vegas white and that the tan and stuff that just it fits the fall scene at the moment. Make sure I got leaves all over my feet and lay one on a seat or something <laughs> a VSS fault how limp home mode how is that possible it didn't like something there now I'm gonna have to hook this thing back up well that's interesting oh no, oh, I got it. Or the beep, and I thought it was the it was the VSS beeping again. Let's do a full boot down here. Interesting. Or if I got well leaves in the ABS sensors, so that's not going to hurt anything. Yeah, I just seen the little mark here to see if it's still there. No. No, it's definitely got the code on. I shut it off in gear too. Anyway, we'll have something to talk about with that too. Park brake off. Saying that the park brake's off. Yeah, it seen something it didn't like. We'll hook her up the old PC. I can look up the codes in there, but it's not going to give me details. It'll just show what the code is. You know, irritatingly, the uh, Pan America does the same thing. It'll show you the code. You can clear the code. But, um, so you just 
take a PDF of, of all the codes <laughs> and uh, you store them on your phone so if anything pops up you scroll through that's whatever something I need to look at it's a random thing you don't know and uh, clear it and hope it don't come back type of thing and something like this it was obviously something temporary it did not did not like and so uh, we'll hook it up to the PC here right quick and let her talk to me and uh, I'll bop right on and right quick and tell you what I see interesting I've like never had and if there was like a known problem I'm trying to figure it out and it popped back up I'll go dang it it wasn't what I thought it was or whatever but uh, to randomly do that we'll see must have been something erratic I did it says it was a intermittent or erratic um, checksum error with the uh, VCM it says no external or internal uh, checks or anything there's nothing to check so it was just a weird uh, probably the mice sequence of getting on here hitting reverse and start and I was probably doing too many things all at once and and I caused a uh, a checksum error but uh looking through the history it's never happened before and there's nothing to check so basically it was me probably being a knucklehead and trying to do too many things at once remember the old spiders if you got too many buttons going on at the same time it would throw can bus errors because the it just <laughs> couldn't handle all the information that was being sent. And it was usually when you're doing multiple things with the switches and, yeah, you could get, get things to go crazy. God, you remember the ones if you if you rode the brake? You know, if, like, if your foot touched the brake and you're going down the road, it would, you know, they finally toned that thing down where it would wait and make sure there was actually, oh, I got auto white bounce on, so this thing's going to go all over the place. I apologize. But um, you get weird... Uh, I mean, they toned it down so that it, it, it stopped and looked to make sure there was a problem there. It was just, you know, if you rode that brake for just a few seconds and it didn't see pressure, bah, it'd throw a VSS code and all that kind of things for the the older twins. But it's funny, like I've told you guys before, you look at the wiring diagram for the old ones, and I remember thinking, wow, how overwhelming all this stuff is, you know, for a motorcycle, you know. Felt like I was looking at a car wiring diagram. <laughs> it was just a simple. Uh, now you look at that thing, and it's absolutely just archaic and simple looking. The wiring diagrams for these are just. It would take several of those great big fold-out maps to to do it. It would. It would be huge. I mean, you literally have to do these things on online. There is no paper version of them. Well, actually, there is, but it's. Um, like a stack of those fold-up things about this big it's a whole bunch of them so yes there is ones but it's multiple multiple large maps and it goes from section to section to section to section it doesn't all show up in one map like the old twins did but anyway no harm no foul dared it it was just a weird thing just nothing to check it's a check some here or erratic <laughs> that's gonna be a wrap for the night the uh, trailer's done. I'll clean up my mess here a little bit. And I I did put in a thing. I think they contacted her to see what she wants to do about the tires. Because they're not weather checked or anything. But I don't know, being that old 2011 tires, that's a little spooky. <laughs> but on that, and man, literally, what is it? I got like four minutes left. About 20 minutes ago, I got a little weather alert. Rain's going to start in, you know, whatever minutes. And it's just absolutely coming unhinged out there. Perfect timing for us to drive home in the pitch black dark. Man, Mother Nature. I mean, you're, you've been mostly nice the whole day. I mean, a couple of little rainy spouts there, but for the most part, it was nice. Very end. It's time to go home. She has no sense of humor, that Mother Nature. <laughs> but anyway, from down here in the dungeon, I'm going to bid you adieu. Wish us luck going home. 
We'll see you here in a few when we get, get to the homestead. Well, hello there, you two. Man, oh man. What a, a nightmare drive home again tonight. It's just nasty. Yeah. That's, that's just getting crazy. Night after night after night. <laughs> Wow. Anyway, ain't got much to say but wow about the weather. And I just want to get inside. I'm sure the girls want in. And we got di- We get soaked getting the girls in the house. And of course, yeah. got to get out and get the car in the garage and everything else. And you're just like a drowned rat when you get inside. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, gonna gonna end it with that. Alrighty. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke town, same smoke channel. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have a wonderful Thursday or Friday. Again. All right. Hopefully it'll be nicer tomorrow. Yeah. <laughs> Started out so nice this morning. Yeah. All right. We'll see, see you, you in then. The morning. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.